Hello, good students. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to teach you English language. I am going to show you how to use some different conjunctions in English. You should stay together with us. You should stay tuned until we finish this lesson because you are going to get a lot of skills from this lesson because the lesson is very wonderful and things that we have prepared for you are very important. If you want to level up your English language, try to be together with us until we end this lesson. Gubananat, we are going to teach you some good conjunctions. Do you know how to use as matter of fact? As matter of fact. Do you know how to use in fact in English? Do you know how to use despite the fact that in English language? These are conjunctions that are somehow very tricky when you don't know how to use them in English language. Then try to be together with us and be watchful. Be attentive. Gerageza ukurikire kandi witonze tujye kukwinjiza mu isomo mukanya. Before teaching you the lesson, I would like to show you these books. If you want to level up, to expand your English level, please come and buy these books. We are here to give you the books you need. Another thing that I want to tell you is that we've come up with weekend program. Students who want, who wish, who need to learn English during the weekend, just we are here to help them. Another thing is that we are now going to open the beginner's English Zoom class. Yes. Another thing is subscribe to our channel. Try to subscribe to our channel if you want to get our lessons each and every time. If you want to get our lessons every day, subscribe to our channel, my dear friend. I am Teacher Jasper, the one who is going to help you now get, grasp, understand the lesson of the day. Good. Before teaching you this lesson, I would like to show you the word of the day. Word, the word of the day. Ijambo Jumus. Our today's word is this one. Scorn. Do you know the meaning of scorn in English? Scorn, scorn, to scorn, this is a verb. To scorn means to despise, to ignore. That is to scorn, to scorn, nugususugura. To ignore, to despise, to disregard. All of these words mean to scorn. I am a gambo yose mvuze, ukwara tatu, bisoanura to scorn. Ni synonyms na magambo asa afitu huso wa nubumge to scorn. Chora kuguru jero mhavugani. He always scorns his neighbors. Ijiye chose asuzugura abatura nyi we. Ushora no kufuguti. I was scorned by my classmate yesterday. Ejo na suzugwe na wanye shuri tukigana. That is to scorn. Nice. Very fantastic. You should know how to use these English words. If you want to speak English better, try to know how to use these English words. Menyuko wakoresha ayamagambo. In fact, as, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, and despite the fact that. These are the three words that I'm going to teach you today. And these words are mostly used in English language. In fact means, we use in fact to add more information to what you've just said or you have just said. We use in fact to add more information to what you have just said. Dukoresha in fact, yot konjera. Amakuru, yodo shaka konjera amakuru kubjo kwa vugaga, changwa kwa turi kuvuga. That is in fact. Mubjukuri in fact means mubjukuri. <laughs> in fact, mubjukuri. Mubjukuri, in fact. 
ubu uri kuvuga kuti ni nk'amakuru rugutanga kubyo nubundi wavuze mbere kugira ngo shimangire ibyo wavuze mbere that is the use of in fact example you can say ushaka kuvuga kuti he said he was at home yaravuze ngo yarari mu rugo but it was a naked lie a naked lie it was a naked lie ariko cyari kinyoma cyamba yubusa a naked lie a naked lie in fact he was at pub nyamara mu byukuri yari ari ku kabari urumva ndi kongera gushimangira ko uyu muntu yatubeshye i'm going to use the word in fact the conjunction in fact he said he was at home yatubwiye ko yari ari mu rugo but it was a naked lie ariko mu byukuri cyari kinyoma cyambaye ubusa in fact ariko nyamara mu byukuri he was at home nyamara ariko nyamara cyangwa se mu byukuri he was at pub yari mu kabari that is it then as a matter of fact it yes in fact and um, as a matter of fact mean the same ikingi iki twashize hano ni kimwe nuko wakizana ukagishira ahanga as a matter of fact as a matter of fact we use this conjunction to mean the same thing as in fact we use it to add more information to what you have just said as a matter of fact nundi wavuze in fact aho bantu bavuze ibintu bimwe byose bisobanuye ngo mu byukuri eh uburi kongera information kubyo wavuze uri gutanga makuru kubyo wavuze mbere for example you can say jack was not only my classmate but also my best friend jack ntabwo yari umunyeshuri twiganaga gusa ahubwo yari n'ishuti yange magara jack was not only my classmate but also my best friend jack ntabwo yari umunyeshuri twiganaga gusa ahubwo yari n'ishuti yange magara as a matter of fact we lived in the same bedroom as a matter of fact we lived in the same be bedroom ati ni nko kuvuga uti kandi byongeye kugira ngo mbemeze mbabwire yuko yari inshuti yange kandi tukaba twaraniganaga twanabanaga mu cyumba kimwe urumva as a matter of fact it's like in addition to this konje nongeye kubabwira ibinda ahubwo mutari muzi nuko twabanaga no hehe mu cyumba kimwe yes jack was not only my classmate but also my best friend as a matter of fact we lived in the same bedroom twabanaga mu cyumba kimwe that is it yes that is the use of in fact and as a matter of fact as a matter of fact now we are going to see the difference among in fact as a matter of fact and despite the fact that in fact and as a matter of fact mean the same thing these two these two ones in fact and as a matter of fact but here despite the fact that despite the fact that is used when you are saying that something is happening even though or though something else might have stopped it uburi kuvuga kuti ikintu kiri kuba cyangwa ikintu cyaba nubwo hari ikindi gishobora kuba cyagira gute cyaba kije kukibangamira you can say yesterday i managed to teach my students despite the fact that it was raining too much ejo nagerageje kwigisha abanyeshuri banje nubwo imvura yari iri kugwa cyane despite the fact that nubwo imvura yabaye nka kirogoya but i managed i tried my best to teach my students do you get it urumva ko despite the fact that itandukanye na in fact itandukanye na as a matter of fact as a matter of fact yes here you can say despite the fact that is used to say that to ikoresha tuvuga ngo something happens even though something else might have stopped it ikintu kiri kuba nubwo ikindi gishobora kuza nk'ingogamizi 
despite the fact that. For example, you can say, the wedding was very colorful despite the fact that there were some people who didn't want it to be wonderful. You get it? The wedding ceremony was very colorful despite the fact that there were people who didn't want it to be wonderful or colorful. Ubukwe bwa genze neza bwa ari bwiza cyane nubwo hari hari abantu batashakaga ko bugenda neza that is despite the fact that you can also start with despite the fact that ushaka kuvuga kuti despite the fact that there were people who didn't want our wedding to be well or wonderful it went well or it was very colorful it was very colorful. Icyo giye rero ubuvuze uti nubwo hari abantu batashaka kubukwe bugenda neza ariko mu byukuri bwagenze neza. Another example. You can also say I am in this meeting despite the fact that there are people who don't want me to be here. Yes. Nubwo hari abantu badashaka ko mba hano muri inama. Nice. Let us have this example. It was raining cats and dogs. Yariri kugwa ari nyinshi cyane eh yimvuriri kugwa cyane dufite idiom cyongereza ivuga to rain cats and dogs it was raining cats and dogs yari yariri kugwa cyane yari amahindu our teacher went on teaching these are two sentences i want you to join these two sentences by using despite the fact that do you know how you are going to do it ukugiye kubikora rero nuko nguko urahita wivugira uti despite the fact that it was raining cats and dogs nubwo yari iri kugwa cyane our teacher went on teaching mwarimu yakomeje kwigisha to go on doing something in a simple past is go on writing uka went on our teacher went on teaching us do you see or you can say or this is or conjunction ushobora no kuvuga kuti our teacher went on teaching us despite the fact that it was raining cats and dogs do you get it mwarimu yakomeje kutwigisha cyangwa kwigisha nubwo aswa ikuramo our teacher went on teaching despite the fact that it was raining cats and dogs nubwo yari iri kugwa cyane ichibiti namabuye our teacher went on teaching us despite the fact that it was ra raining cats and dogs cats and dogs very fantastic then after this conjunction which is despite the fact that we are going to give you the message of the day reka tuguhe message yo mus ubutumwa after getting this lesson nyuma isom my dear student the one who is following this lesson this message is for you ubutumwa nubwawe never ignore anyone if you know how bad it feels to get ignored by someone never ignore anyone if you know how bad it feels to get ignored by someone nukigere na gato usuzugura umuntu cyangwa ngo wirengagize umuntu nibuzi ukuntu biryana ukuntu bibabaza iyo usuzuguwe nawe do you get me you should never ignore anyone if you know how bad it feels to get ignored by someone aka kanu kumvise niba wasuzuguraga niba wari umwirasi wabigabanya kuko kuri yisi kuba kuri yisi no kwitonda ya then my dear students i thank you so much ndabashimiye cyane for watching this lesson and we still have a lot of lessons that are there to help you so much we have so many lessons that are there to help you so much but before i leave the stage mbere yuko mva kuri stage ndagira ngo mbahe 
ignore the meaning of ignore ushobora kumba ignore kumba ignore nichi what is the meaning of ignore to ignore means to scorn niba mwibuka ijambo rya mbere twahereye ubu to scorn to disregard to despise bya jambo ryo munsi liragarutse mu bundi buryo kugira ngo ukomeze eh uri kuri pani no kuba tuguha utuntu twubwenge yes to ignore means to scorn to despise to disregard gusuzugura then never ignore never scorn never despise never disregard anyone if you know how bad it feels to get ignored by someone i am teacher jasper i thank you so much for watching bye bye see you then